What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is your weekly react on video. I do one of these every week for the first descendant because every Tuesday they change the locations of where you can spot farm or target farm specific reactors. And for the next seven days, you can basically do specific missions and increase your chance of getting specific reactors that you might be looking for. Now, this video covers from the 29th of October until the 5th of November. And there's a very easy way for you to also get this information in game by simply going to your map and then pressing difficulty level rewards this brings you to this area here where you can essentially search by your skill type by your archetype and just exactly if you're looking for a specific different kind of external component for example now what we can do is we can build ourselves a table like this and this shows us the meta or let's say best in slot reactor per character per descendant and then what we can do is we can also scrunch it together and combine it since certain descendants use similar reactors like Isomo and Lepic both use fire and tech as their best in slot reactor that means that while you are farming for a Lepic best in slot reactor you're also covering your Isomo uh so that being said this week is a pretty full week. We have a huge amount of reactors that we can farm for, uh, kind of like spread all over, but definitely special rounds weapons are favored this week. So if that's something that you're looking to still sort of complete that part of your collection, then you're in luck. Now we're going to go ahead and start off with our first reactors. And these are materialized mechanics reactors. And these cover for Ajax, Kyle and Luna. So it's reactors like this materialized mechanics. So this is good for, as I mentioned, Ajax, Kyle, and Luna, since all three of those descendants, they are generally flavored, non-attribute, and tech. And if you're looking for a general role this week, in other words, if we just move my face over here, if we want to cover guns like, for example, uh, you know, Enduring Legacy is a good one, Thunder Cage is a good one, Python is a good one, Divine Punishment, all of these, they all, uh, Divine Punishment, by the way, is not a good one, <laughs> but these are all general rounds weapons, then if you're looking for one for either Ajax, Kala Luna, Materialized Mechanics this week, you're in luck. So what we can do is we can go over here, boom, 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 we can choose non-attribute and we can go ahead and take tech and that's going to give us Abandoned Zone. Abandoned zone sits over here. It is in Echo Swamp. There's a mission in abandoned zone called Environment Contamination Zone. Really good and easy mission to run with a character, a descendant that can fast run these kinds of things. So like Bunny, Valby, Freyna, all of them are pretty good at this. You can kind of like complete this a lot faster than the five minutes that the estimated playtime says. And you can hopefully rack yourself up a massive amount of these reactors with some good rolls on them. Also bear in mind that this area is really good for weapon proficiency, character XP, gold and kuiper. Uh, obviously the hot shit right now for leveling is of course 400% uh, infiltrations, but this is not bad at all. And if you are spending some time here looking for reactors, you're not going to be losing out too much on those other things. Then next we have Enzo, Glay, Eugen, and Luna who all use Materialized Singularity. Now I don't think I have a Materialized Singularity equipped here but that's because it doesn't necessarily matter that much for if you're building like a support uh, Enzo but in any case that's you know a story for a different day. The bottom line is non-attribute singular reactors are perfect for Enzo, Glay, Eugen, and Luna. And this week you can get some ones with special weapons rolls on them. So special weapons of course are things like for example Greg's Reverse Fate as well as Clairvoyance and of course Secret Garden. So really really good role to have on weapons in general. Uh, Greg's Reverse Fate sees a lot of plays so does Secret Garden. Both of those weapons are phenomenal and so therefore this week if we're looking for that we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and select non-attribute. We're going to go ahead and choose singular and we're going to see an area called Rockfall. Now, Rockfall is right over here in Sterile Land, and there's a mission in Rockfall called Anticipated Ambush Point. And like the previous one that we had now as well, this is very much suited for descendants that can cover uh, areas fast. Uh, nonetheless, you can do this. I was messing around with doing this with Kingsguard Lands for a while, which is quite funny, but it actually worked pretty well. Uh, Ajax, uh, I have a build up now, which is like, you know, Super Mario Ajax works really well with this as well. But basically, you have a, a couple of different spawn points where enemies spawn you can essentially cover the smaller area you kill everything you kill the boss at the end you run back you rinse repeat and doing this is gonna again this is a three minute turnaround according to the mission spec but you can definitely do it a lot faster the point is you're gonna uh, get a lot of reactors
factors potentially dropping with the roles that you're looking for hopefully some decent special roles secret garden roles and this is dope as shit and then of course also weapon proficiency character xp gold and kuiper once again not as good as the previous one that we looked at in uh, echo uh, but still not too shabby at all then rounding out our non-attribute reactors for this week we also have a decent place to farm for general rounds weapons for jaber valby and glay now they use non-attribute dimension it looks like this materialized phase because you have non-attribute and dimension on there and these are the best skills for those three descendants so that's jaber valby and glay so this week if you're looking for general mounting so once again general mounting being of course enduring legacy thunder cage python things like that then you have a pretty decent place that you can go to we can go here we can say non-attribute we can go ahead and choose our dimension and then we have a place called grand square so this is in our first map that we can go to kingston and it's this mission over here kingston surveillance radar now this is not nearly as efficient as the two previous ones i showed you but it is still relatively decent and one of the reasons why this is good is because you have a pretty big amount of spawns in a very small area and it's a very small area for you to cover so once again a bunny with a big radius valby with some residual water freina with poison lying around and stuff is going to make this super easy because you'll be able to clean up multiple groups the whole time while quickly resetting the mission and going again and hopefully you're going to get some decent reactors for exactly the configuration that you're looking for if you're still trying to get some thunder cage or everybody's always looking for enduring legacy because it's just a phenomenal weapon and so it's always good to have some reactors lying around with that role on it so hopefully you can get lucky get some of that then my favorite descendant right now sharon also has a decent week ahead of her so sharon if you actually building her to just basically be like buffing sharon or outpost sharon or something like that the reactor doesn't really matter because the only thing you really care about in that case is you're looking for a reactor with decent substats like this is my outpost sharon and so you can see here i've got a materialized mixture reactor on here with skill duration up and skill cooldown which i'm only after the substats the other stuff doesn't make any sense however if you are trying to build her into skill power what you're actually looking for is electric and fusion and that's because her cutoff beam is a fusion ability as is her fourth ability flash sword sword which is also a fusion so if you're looking to build her into skill damage then that's what you're looking for electric and fusion and this week if you're looking for weapons with a special mounting you can also go hunt them down in a quite an you know a nice spot so again special mounting weapons just for anybody that's only joined just now is of course i mean it's clairvoyance is there but the two ones that you really should be concerned about is of course greg's and it should be secret garden so if you're looking for those mountings on a reactor for her good week for you you can simply go to your map you can go your boom you can say electric you can go ahead and choose fusion and that's going to give you a repository repository has a mission called kuiper mine and it's one of these where essentially you go into the mission and then you activate a terminal and then it pops up seven mines that you have to go stand in the little circles and kind of like dismantle them however with this particular mission what you do is you don't do that you don't dismantle them you stay in the middle area and you essentially let the clock the clock <laughs> you let the clock run out so five minutes of looting essentially just dipping out of this middle circle every once in a while to go pick stuff up to keep it from despawning but basically you're just spending the entire five minutes in here you're killing every single thing that spawns and you're just collecting a whole bunch of weapon proficiency uh character xp gold and kuiper as well as hopefully some decently rolled reactors then we have a pretty big week for viesa viesa actually has two decent spawns uh for some farms this week depending of course on what you're looking for the first one i'm going to show you and just to mention uh, of course viesa uses frozen mechanics which is chill and tech and that's basically because her i would say best ability sorry i'm jumping around uh, in terms of dealing damage is of course blizzard that's her fourth ability and that's a tech ability now bear in mind there is a version of viesa that you can build where all of her abilities are singular abilities and that's if you equip a specific transcendent mod so that is not applicable here right now uh because that would be chill and singular and not the reactor that we're looking at right now but if you're looking for frozen or <laughs> chill and tech which is frozen mechanics for her it's a good week because if you're looking for impact weapons there's a cool place to go and there's also a cool place for general run so impact weapons uh very simply is you know things like for example wave of light 
you've got peacemaker you've got perforator you've got the new frost Warster rifle uh you've got blue beetle and you've got nazestra so there's a whole bunch of weapons that are covered by impact rolls and if you're looking for an impact roll for versa this week you are in luck because what you can do is we'll go ahead and switch to chill here we're going to go to tech and then impact is going to be vermilion waste so that's this area over here in agna and specifically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing this outpost now uh back in the day uh, people that are familiar with the early weeks of the first descendant there was something known as the valby farm which basically meant that you used valby and you tooled her uh water you know ability her third ability to basically be as small as possible by not increasing its radius and then you essentially just go on the outside of the outpost by and and by just killing all of those enemies and not actually attacking the boss in the middle as soon as you destroy the reactors then what happens is uh you have about two minutes and 36 seconds of enemies constantly spawning in that you can kill they drop reactors they drop xp weapon proficiency uh golden kuiper so the usual and you can get pretty decent spawns in this particular outpost so you can run into situations where if you make your third ability too too strong by putting in a enough mods in that you can have a situation where the boss might accidentally wander over your water and die from it so my only advice here would be to experiment just a little bit and find out that you just enough that you can put on that you one tap all the mobs that spawn but that you don't present that big a threat to uh, the boss in the middle failing that you can also use your fourth ability to essentially pull them to the middle or you can just stop on the opposite end of the out the opposite side of the outpost shoot at the enemy and kind of like get them to come towards you so there's a couple of ways that you can do this to avoid you know basically attracting any attention from the boss but the point is this is a very very decent spawn and hopefully uh and a farm and hopefully you can get some decent impact reactors to drop now i did mention that there's two this week so if you're looking for general reactors for viesa you also have a good spot for that general of course being thunder cage python you know enduring legacy and so on so again we can go here boom 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 and we can say chill and we can choose tech and then we choose mirage stone and that's over here still in agna desert we were just over here that's just to the left of it you also have an outpost here which guess what you can also do the valby farm on I do also want to mention you you aren't pigeonholed into using Valby. You can do this with Bunny as well by just making her third ability as small as possible. But that being said, it's the most straightforward with Valby and that's why I tool it that way. So again here, what you're doing is you're just killing the reactors and the enemies on the outside while avoiding the boss. And you're just getting yourself a whole bunch of character XP, weapon proficiency, gold kuiper, and hopefully some sexy reactors. And then last but not least, uh, our other chill lady our other descendant that also uses chill as an element is of course Haley. and this week if you're looking for Haley reactors that have a special mounting there's also a decent place for you to go to so of course Haley's reactor of choice is frozen singularity which is chill and singular that's because her best damage abilities are chill and singular and so if you are i mean generally you want a sniper rifle on her but there's chances that you might be wanting to diversify your kit and build some other things with her in that case like i said if you're looking something with a special mounting on that being like greg's reverse fate or secret garden for example uh not clairvoyance <laughs> but one of those two weapons this is also a good week for you because what you can do is you can go to chill and you can choose singular and then you'll see there is a map called converter facility and this is in fortress uh and it's all the way over here and for our last outpost farm this week it's also exactly the same as the two previous ones which i discussed which means that you can use valby here you can make her ability as small as possible and basically not put too many damage mods on it and you can ride the outskirts of this outpost basically killing all the enemies as soon as they spawn while avoiding to kill the boss you got about two minutes and 30 seconds to clean up and you can get a decent amount of weapon xp uh character xp gold kuiper and possibly some decent reactors with you know those mountings on there especially something like secret garden which as i mentioned before early in this video is always just a good thing to have that's gonna be it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments what you are focusing on we are a day away uh, from the publishing of this video of us getting the october 30th patch which is going to give us the reactor changes hopefully uh last time i checked it's due now and so this is going to further 
Pentagon allow us to experiment with reactor combinations and mount three different kinds of weapons on there and basically just make our reactors worth a lot more instead of having to go out and reform the whole time and so on. So super excited to see exactly how that's going to work. It hasn't been detailed thus far, at least not until the time of me recording this. And so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how that setup works and what's allowed and what isn't allowed and does it require a mat and all of that. But we'll know soon enough and I'll be sure to make a video on that. Other than that, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Till next video, fucking cheers. Thank you.